Now by using the Fermi level distribution function, we can calculate the concentration of electrons in a semiconductor if provided the densities of available states inside the conduction band is known to us. So the concentration of electrons in the conduction band can be written as N0 equals to integral of EC to infinity F of E any e, d and let it be equation number one now what are these terms means where n0 is actually the electron concentration at equilibrium and f of e is as we know that it is the probability of occupancy of an electron at an energy level capital e and any e, d is the density of states so the concentration of electrons in the conduction band at equilibrium can be found by integrating over the entire conduction band and it is given by the product of the density of states that is any e d with the probability of occupancy f of e if we represent all of the distributed electronic states in the conduction band by the effective density of states nc which is located just at ec so the equation can be written as n0 will be equals to f of ec multiplied by nc so this nc is the effective density of states at the conduction band edge ec now from the fermi direct distribution function we know that f of e can be written as 1 by 1 plus e to the power e minus ef by kt now here i have written f of ec as we have required the value of f of ec so the value can be written as 1 upon 1 plus e to the power ec minus ef by kt as we know that for a semiconductor or rather for an intrinsic semiconductor the conduction band lies above the fermi level or ef so that means ec minus ef is very greater than kt as because at room temperature the value of kt is very small so we can approximate this value as 1 upon e to the power ec minus ef by kt so we have here neglected the value of 1 in the denominator and that can be written as e to the power minus ec minus of ef by kt so this will be the value of the probability of occupancy at ec level or at the conduction band edge so the concentration of electrons in the conduction band will be equals to n0 that equals to nc e to the power minus of ec minus ef by kt and let it be equation number four now the effective density of states nc can be written as nc equals to 2 into twice pi mn star into kt by h square whole to the power 3 by 2 you all know that mn star is the effective mass of an electron k is the boltzmann constant t is the temperature at absolute scale and h is nothing but the planck's constant so having all the known values we can calculate the value of nc but remember that the effective density of states is actually a function of the temperature capital t now the physical implication of equation 4 can be stated as if the Fermi level moves towards the conduction band that is if the Fermi level lies nearer to the conduction band then the number of electrons or the concentration of electrons will be higher. Let's move on to calculate the whole concentration in the valence band at the equilibrium. 